musical puppy, metal tea set, and what in God's name, scary, what is that? Squeeze his tummy and his head lights up. Oh, okay, so those lines are just supposed to indicate lights, but instead it looks like a little doll with needles coming out of his face. <laughs> Shake up a martini, pull up a chair, and let's go thrifty. This is Mid-Century Wasting. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Sundays at Sears. I'm Jamie, and you're watching Mid-Century Wasted. We are about to start the second to last episode. I can't even hardly believe it but we are almost completely through the entire 1968 Sears Christmas wish book catalog. Last week we were still on toys and this week we are still on toys and next week we will still be on toys. <laughs> it is toys, toys, toys from here on out. So this is where we left off last week. We were in the Tonka trucks and Matchbox cars. We were in boy toy land, although I'm sure there's plenty of girls who like playing with trucks too. But let's see what's next. Oh, oh my goodness, how funny, okay. Okay, so I'm going to try off the tripod this episode just because as you can see we've got some pages falling out here and I want to stop having to lift the whole catalog up to the camera so we are going to attempt it this way. I am sorry if it's a little more shaky than usual. I'm trying my best to be as steady as possible. Anyway, Star Trek Astro Train launches flying saucers, sways and twists across a treacherous skyway. Motorized unit pulls a robot carrier with wind up robot that walks. Look at this Astro Train robot carrier. It's $10.99 without batteries. I don't know what how that relates to Star Trek in any way, to be honest with you. And there's the dump truck. I guess these are just add-on pieces for this set. Mighty Mike balances perilously on two wheels as it crosses the Cobra Skyway. Four speed stick shift Mustang. Look at that. That's so funny too, because my dream car when I was growing up, 1968 Ford Mustang. That was my dream car. Convertible, cherry red. <laughs> and here we have an airport. And I gotta say, oh my goodness, would my kids ever love this? Voice from Control Tower helps you direct planes in normal and emergency takeoffs and landings. Oh my goodness. My kids have some little planes about that same size and they would just go bonkers for a little airport like that with the headset and everything. It had records. Wow, that's crazy. Here's a little gas propelled airplane. Oh my gosh, it's jet propelled. Filled with gas propellant. Plane zooms up to 50 feet, glides as far as 600 feet. And then here's road rally. Push switches to control battery powered cars. Tally up the most laps to win. And this I think is really funny. Air Force One. <laughs> Pilot the President's Air Force One jet. Who was the president in 1968? I mean, I feel like I should just know that off the top of my head, but I don't. It was sometime after Kennedy, I know that. Oh goodness. G.I. Joe. This isn't G.I. Joe over here though, is it? I guess it is. Vehicles of the future traverse the face of an unknown world, probing space and taming it for man. Oh my goodness. Man, how cool is that with the spaceman helmet and everything? Mattel's Men in Space. It's number two there. I don't think this is G.I. Joe. It's not. What is that? The terrain. Space Mobile. Number three is Major Matt Mason. Space Mobile. Maybe this is all G.I. Joe. I'm not sure. There's the Space Capsule and Suit and sea sled runs on or underwater. This is all G.I. Joe. Scuba outfit to wear when diving. <laughs> and this is Here Come the Zeroids. Grabbing, throwing, and hauling at your command. 
I don't know those. Rudy the robot struts along, keeps on the move by automatically reversing himself when he bumps into any object. <laughs> Portable Johnny Astro Explorer. Launch, operate spacecraft, even haul cargo. Man, all this space stuff is so cool. Friendly robot from Lost in Space. Goes straight, circles left or right with his eerie lights blinking. All this space stuff is really, really cool. Oh, now we are into some Western toys. Oh, Bonanza. See, I knew that Bonanza was of this time period. A couple episodes ago, I was like, oh look, they can sit on this and watch Bonanza. And then I was like, well, wait, is that even the right era? But I was right. Blaze Ponderosa trails with the Cartwrights and their versatile four-in-one Bonanza wagon. And look at that. It's a covered wagon, an ore wagon, a ranch wagon, and a chuck wagon. How versatile. Jane West and her daughter Josie. I can't really say that I know what that is. Johnny West and his horse Comanche. Are these characters from Bonanza? Because I just, I, I have never seen one single episode of Bonanza and I don't even know why the show that came out of my mouth was Bonanza, but it just was. So maybe I'm meant to find some episodes of that and watch it. Big three level service station. Supercar City is a rugged all steel station and parking garage. Takes cars to any level by hand operated elevator. Serves all 15 cars with gas pumps, rack, and 10 attendants. Wow. Look at how fun that is. Look at the Volkswagen bug. Oh, look at the cool graphics on the building itself too. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. Jump in Jupiter. It's Batman and Robin. <laughs> The dynamic duo pursue six vicious villains, Thunderbolt, Keyman, Brainstorm, Mouse Man, Calter, and the Joker. The bat car and the bat plane are standing by. Well, wait, isn't it the Batmobile? It's not the bat car, it's the Batmobile. What the heck? Voyage to the bottom of the sea. Command the torpedo firing sea view as it battles a killer whale and a clawed monster. Oh, all this sci-fi stuff was just so big back then. King Kong jungle set. Watch him rescue friends on Skull Island or lift foes in his big magnetic hands. Ooh, magnetic hands. Look at that. Oh, how funny. Wow, that's a riot. Aw, farms. My kids like playing with farms. Deluxe farm set has 214 pieces. Big 30 inch long platform supports barn and silo. Tractor with three accessories, harvests crops, fences hold 42 animals. That's elaborate. Wow. 89 piece livestock farm set with farm hands, truck, 24 animals. Two tractors, five implements. There's the implements. Mini farm set, authentically scaled tractor, and seven frequently used implements ranging from four to six and a half inches long. And now we got a color page over here. Portable farm set, 73 detailed pieces sold only at Sears. Look at those farm pieces. And then it opened up. You could carry it around. That's cool. Here is the Dactari Jungle Sets. 140 piece set, 110 piece set. I do not know what Dactari was, but it looks like it was some sort of tribal jungle show. Hmm, I'm really not sure. Never heard of it before. Oh, wow, how cool is this? Well, first of all, there's Twister. I knew we couldn't make it through this whole catalog without seeing it. I was wondering why it wasn't in the game section, but obviously they wanted to show a picture of it in color because, I mean, that's just iconic right there. That kid had to just be the spinner. He wasn't allowed to play. This looks really cool too. Play 11 different games, including dart toss, shuffleboard, bowling with automatic pin setter. I love that automatic pin setter contraption because my kids have a little bowling game, but you have to set up the pins and then they knock it over once and they lose interest because they don't want to have to set it up again. And then I end up having to set it up over and over again. Automatic pin setter lets you bowl a game in your living room, basement, or recreation room. I wish I had a recreation room. Inflatable marble court for a rainy day game to play indoors. Marbles. That's cool. To a punch bag set. It's a floor or wall model. Floor puncher with steel base. Punch me's. <laughs> Give them the old one-two. <laughs> 
inflated vinyl characters bob back for more hey look that kid's dressed like dennis the menace and he's punching dennis the menace it's so very aggressive but i guess it helps kids get their anger out get their energy out oh here's some couple of nice death traps steel stilts just what every kid needs we had stilts in this catalog and we also had unicycles so it's preparing children for the circus there's the pogo sticks i never could figure out how to do one or two bounces on one of those without falling astronauts non-tilt space walkers oh my gosh whoever thought it was a good idea to just strap some springs to the bottom of some kids shoes um i mean that's a lawsuit waiting to happen these days that's just not a good idea at all wow look at that this this page looks intense aurora model motoring go ho for more race in less space drive four of the world's fastest ho scale road race cars around 16 feet of track there's the cars, there's the track. Change it to two lane layout with 32 foot lap. Race all four cars are just two. Lap counters keep score. There's the cars. Ford J, Camaro, Mongusta, Mako Shark, McLaurin, Elva, Cougar, Dune Buggy, and Hot Rod Coop. There you have it. Oh, wow, look at that. Wham, sea cars crash and fly apart as daredevil drivers race around 10 feet of figure eight roadway trying to beat each other to the crossing. Oh my God, that's just so violent. And there's another racetrack and another racetrack. Dino Ferrari and Ford J zip around 16 feet of track. Is that Ford versus Ferrari right there? Is that what that is? I never saw that movie. Here's more racetracks, rambling rally race, 132nd scale Porsche and Ferrari duel along 27 feet of track. Nice twisty turvies on that one. Oh, here's a Dennis the Menace. I don't care how long you've waited, you don't call your parents road hogs. Oh gosh. Because <laughs> they're playing and he wants to play. How cute. Here's some more cars. Chaparral, Fastback, Camaro, Ford J, Stingray, Mustang 2 plus 2, Camaro SS350, Cougar GTE, Firebird 400. I don't know all about cars, obviously, but there you go. Rebels High Bank Raceway. Oh yeah, look at the bank on that turn. That was probably cool. Strombecker's European Endo Home Raceway. And then here's more cheetah ford j porsche carrera and american coupe and yet even more these must have been just really popular at this time there's so many different sets barrel your motorific semi-trailer <laughs> down and around 17 feet of action highway 100. that's kind of funny because my kids have kind of a sort of similar little racetrack and it's got like a obstacle course built into it where they would like bump into like rocks and things things topple over watch out there's an automatic flagman ahead stop then pass construction site pull in at the terminal back up couples uncouples automatically and you're off <laughs> For every kid with dreams of being a semi-truck driver when he grows up. Cyclone Racerific, stick shift Ferrari, speeds against time. Now enjoy Boaterific indoors with this 42 inch boat basin with Marina. Oh wow, that's kind of cool. Like inflates, you fill it up with water. I could see that um, leading to some very bad, messy, wet times inside your home. Here's some more little cars, the Motorific cars, Jaguar, XKE, Camaro, Corvette Stingray, Ford Mustang, Fire Pumper, Service Truck, Steak Truck. And over here, six unit train with trestle, 22 sections of track combined to make 16 feet of 027 track. I don't know what that means. Maybe it's the scale or something. There you go. Four unit train with eight sections of track. There's more track. Wind up, four unit tot train, runs for two full minutes. Six unit train with operating log car. Oh wow, look at that. It dumps the logs out. That's kind of neat. Battery run, four unit train with switch tracks. 
Here's the HO Model Railroad by Tyco. Tyco brand, famous electric train sets. It's got the Santa Fe cars on it, complete with one amp power pack. Big eight unit freight. And here's the six unit diesel model with remote control or dump set and piggyback flat car set. Wow, does it really dump out like little pebbles? That sounds messy. And then extra cars and locomotives, more tracks. Scenorama kit makes deluxe four by eight foot model toy layout. That's cool. Landscape starter kit. I guess these are for the, you know, big elaborate train setups that people would have like in their basements and stuff. With all the scenery. Those always looked cool to me. It just looks like a lot of dedication too. A lot of work. Play and carry, realistic 3D railroad layout opens to 24 by 36 inch card table size, ready to set up operation for NGA trains sold below. Oh, gauge, N gauge, I see. N gauge micro trains take up about one fourth the space used for HO gauge. Interesting. Now I know what N gauge means. They're the little smaller ones. Seven unit postage stamp set with power pack. It's interesting. H.O. Gage Wild West Tiny Train takes up only 28 inches by 28 inches. It's got little like, like little cowboys on there. Cowboys and Indians. Is that what it is? Of course it is. It was 1968. Oh, oh we've got for mechanical kids, we've got the workbench. 46 tools and personalized workbench for all his building projects and repairs. That's so cool. It looks like just a real little workbench. 30 pieces. My kids like playing with pretend tools too. I think it's just, again, one of those universally liked toys that has withstood the test of time. Oh, wow. Look at the shape of that bird feeder. Oh my goodness. I love that. That is so cool. I want a bird feeder that looks like that. Run house and feeder kit. Mount A-frame house on tree or pole in protected area to attract a family of singing wrens. Build home for insect eating purple martins. Add on units for high rise apartments. How do they know which birds these are going to attract? I don't understand that. Weather vane, name sign kit. And then over here, motorized mechano sets. And these look like erector sets, but this must have been the competitor brand, I guess. You got the helicopter, got a train, and a giant crane. Beginner set, advanced set, or best set. And I guess it just builds 40 working, six motorized models, builds 56. So I guess you just kind of had enough pieces to build a bunch of things. Only at Sears, Mattel power shop complete with store and carry case, four tools in one. It's a sander, drill press, lathe, and jigsaw. Everything you need to build toy, airplanes, tractors, etc. So that was a real, those are real tools. I thought these were like kid play tools. I did not realize that these were real working mini adult tools. Strange. Saw with safe heat to push preformed plastic against element to cut. Sears exclusive Thermocraft workshop set with everything you need to build a service station and fort. My gosh, they just, they don't have stuff like this for kids anymore. I mean, I guess my kids are little and I haven't really looked at older kid toys recently, but I can't say that I've heard of toys like this being sold anymore where you actually make big kits and things like that. That's pretty cool. Wood burning sets. I had a wood burning kit when I was a kid. These are kind of fun. Design and decorate your own plaques, coasters, tie rack, and knickknacks. Look at all those accessories. Wood burning and wood staining set. So many activities. Wood burning craft set, build and decorate a change box, pencil box, and recipe holder. Oh, that's fun. The beginner's wood burning set with six wood plaques, four cork coasters. That's hard to say. Extra project set, extra wood plaques, new colorific craft set. Design, cut, and lace together your own useful projects of colorful plastic. So rolls of plastic, metal board and poly backing. Hmm. All right, interesting. Shrink machine. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think I've seen this before or I've at least 
heard of it. Just cut out a shrinky, put it in the machine, and zap. It forms a 3D miniature. Oh my gosh, that's too funny. There's the shrinky refills. More fun, 24 magic sheets totaling 840 square inches of material, 150 extra subjects. And here is a leather lacing set. Makes nine top grain cowhide leather items. I just love all these crafty things. Make your own leather moccasins for children or teens. Build a V8 engine with working parts, visible V8. My gosh, the toys back then were actually preparing children for real life for real life for the real world it was giving them real skills we just need to go back to these types of toys it's just things have been getting out of hand lately with the ipads and everything i don't know this is the kind of fun that i like to have as a kid arts and crafts and things Oh, here's the Hot Wheels. Here we go. Double Dare Drag Set lets you race through thrilling loop the loop on dual tracks. Fastest metal cars in the world. Automatic starting gate lets cars race away at identical instant. Cars race through dual loop the loop on separate tracks. Checkered flag automatically indicates winner. And there's that carrying case. I have come across those wheel shaped carrying cases at estate sales before. I don't know what they sell for nowadays, resale wise, but I know people are always buying them up. So how can he beat me every time? He doesn't even have a driver's license. <laughs> Okay, that's a little bit relatable. My husband is very competitive, even with our kids, and maybe gets a little perturbed when they beat him over and over again at stuff like that. So yeah, monograms, B-52 Strato Fortress, world's largest 172nd scale model kit. So detailed it even makes a real jet sound. Wow. And over here, radio control. Radio control command stingray up to 30 feet away. That's pretty cool. This trick track, lay out a cross country rally, battery powered car follows any course you set. Huh, that's fun. I like that it's in pieces like that. My kids do have something very similar to that right now. That's, that's kind of funny. I didn't know they made race sets like that back then. Johnny Toymaker. Sears set has boats and cars with five chassis to put them on. Two are even motorized. Man, kids would just make their own toys back then. Aurora Speedline Cigar Box. Two-lane stunt and drag race set. Mako Shark and Dino Ferrari cars free roll down a steep straightaway, then streak up, 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 and around a spectacular super loop at a speed that challenges other HO scale cars. Extra Speedline Cigar Box cars. Set includes Cobra GT, Mangusta, Ford XL500, Cougar, Dino Ferrari, and Mako Shark. There they all are. I like how cars all had like those racing stripes on them back then. Billy Blastoff, America's first boy in space. Oh, we got a little bent corner here. Peel it down. There you go. Here's Billy Blastoff. <laughs> That's funny. Mooncopter. Motor roars, lights blink, blades whirl as mooncopter taxis and turns. Kenner building and turnpike set. Great set for that budding engineer in your family. Yeah, this is... All this stuff was like really cool for kids who are really mechanical and things like that. I, I don't know that there's enough toys anyway out there that fulfill that skill in kids now. I don't know. Six in one toy mobile, snap components on motorized chassis and make any one of six different vehicles that really run. Oh gosh, my kids would love that. It's like combining motorized cars and almost like Legos in a way. That's cool. I seriously wish I could buy some of these right now for my kids for Christmas. Big Sound Tug, Real Harbor Sounds from Nylon Record Inside. Oh my gosh, I had a record inside. That's crazy. Jeez. Talk and Do Mobile says, take me apart and nine other things. <laughs> That's funny. Take me apart. Change my oil. Six car mini sport road race. Even a two-year-old can operate it. Well, my two-year-old would lose his mind and love to operate that. He absolutely would. I'm glad they're showing a girl playing with the boy toy too. That's good. Cause I would have loved that as a kid too. I always liked playing with the boy toys. Oh wow, what's this? 
flight trainer plane and you're the pilot. You alone regulate all functions. No co-pilot help needed to handle this easy to fly throttle controlled model. Oh my goodness. Look at it's on like a string. Huh. Powered by dependable Super B gas engine, pilot grip control handle, lets you regulate speed and action in flight. And so it is, it's, it's connected to something and you spin it all around. Interesting. And here's another engine without battery accessory kit. My four-year-old wants a model plane for Christmas, like a remote control plane. And it kills me to tell him that he has to ask for something else because he would crash it in one second. He would fly it one time and it would crash and it would, you know, it would break into a million pieces. So I keep telling him that it's just, those are something that are for older kids and he needs to, you know, think of something else, but he just really, really wants one. And it's, it's such a bummer. Prop rod strike. Modern Bonneville Speedster body design. Accessories for planes and cars. Half pint racing fuel, spout wrench, battery wire clip, extra fuel, starter battery. So you could do it either with fuel or batteries, I guess. You could interchange them. I'm not sure about that. Old smoky steamroller. Oh my gosh. Remote control unit lets you operate model from a stand up position, chugs along on its own power, pulls other toys or powers toy structures. What the heck? Wow. Steam engine with dual action pistons, stationary valves, steam engine with oscillating piston action. Like these little mechanical things. Dry fuel for steam engines. A spit dry fuel, box of 40 pellets. Use three pellets per pint of water to heat boiler. So some something that would mix with water and create steam to make things move. I don't, I don't really know how like the steam engines and stuff work. So as far as like toys go, 100 to 300 power, three turret microscope. Our finest microscope for the student has 100 to 600 power zoom lens plus lighted substage. I actually did get a microscope for Christmas one year. One year I was like really into all the sciencey things and I wanted like a chemistry set and a microscope. I thought it was pretty cool. I still think microscopes are cool. Sears Microscope Laboratory Set. Bring the fabulous world of science to your child in a clear, interesting way. Shrimp hatching kit. Watch shrimp eggs hatch. Ugh, gosh, okay. Live protozoa set. Watch one cell forms grow. Complete kit for slide making. Study frog development on 12 prepared slides. Prepared slides of actual specimens, butterfly, structure, tiny creatures, bacteria. Yeah, I remember my microscope came with these prepared slides and then also a set of blank ones so that you could make your own little science experiments. Complete biology outfit combines dissection and microscopic study. Oh, no. Oh, um... I would stop at the microscopic study and maybe leave the dissection out um, as far as what I would want my own kids to be doing inside my house. It was bad enough dissecting things in actual biology class. We had to do frogs and rats. That's right, rats. We dissected rats. It was pretty horrible. Biology accessory outfit with all the dead animals for you to cut open. Plastic Visible Man, take apart plastic model as you study the human body. I wonder if it was anatomically correct. Mineralogy Laboratory, analyze rocks, do chemical experiments to identify minerals. I would have been into that too. I like stuff like that. Chemical Magic, 65 tricks to amaze and amuse your friends. Nothing like giving kids chemicals to mix and blow things up. Basic Chem Lab, Study elementary chemistry and molecular action. Chem lab for 750 advanced experiments. Wow, that is serious. That is complex right there. That is definitely for your little budding scientist. Wow, special set table with perforated hardboard back plus chemicals and equipment for 750 experiments. Wow, 475 experiment chem lab, 560 experiment chem lab. Now I did have a chemistry set and I kind of specifically remember reading all the warnings on all the different chemicals and it kind of freaked me out too much to want to play with it very often. Like if it didn't have all those warnings or if it just said like, hey, make sure to wash your hands afterwards and don't put this in your eyes, I probably would have been better off, but it really kind of freaked me out too much. Ooh, telescopes. 
Observe stars and planets close up. Use Saturn's rings, Jupiter's moons, Sears refractor telescopes. Look up at the stars and planets directly through front eyepiece. Sears reflector telescopes. Look down into eyepiece, see planets reflected in mirror. There's the different lenses and three power opera glasses or binoculars. Four power children's binoculars, hand sized telescope. I bet these were popular in this era when space travel was just becoming a huge thing. Explore outer space, indoors, learn the stars and constellations with Sears Home Planetarium and Dome. Wow, an at-home planetarium. Can you imagine? That's really cool though. That's really cool. So I have like a little laser pointer. Is that what that is? Even dad likes it. Blast off. Three rockets soar 150 to 300 feet on water-powered thrust. Whoa. Well, we built water-powered bottle rockets in school when I was a kid. Weather station outfit, predict temperature, wind velocity, precipitation, take readings indoors. Oh my gosh. And those are the different types of clouds. I loved studying weather and clouds when I was in school. That was one of my favorite subjects. Starfinder locates constellations, tells time and positions by the stars. That's fun. Funtronics. Simply attach wires to master unit to make any of 15 dynamic electronic devices, including a telegraph, photo cell alarm, even a junior public address system. Look at this. Make an AM radio or phonograph, play any size record or speed, build two-way intercom or remote radio speaker, make a telephone amplifier, lets everyone in the room hear conversations. Oh my gosh, this is so crazy. Again, teaching like electronics to little kids, basically. Transistor electronic kit, FM radio kit, electron. 22 projects with see-through cubes, no wiring tools. This is just way advanced stuff here. Norelco, space age, electronic set, 23 experiments. Talk from room to room with these battery powered phones. Hey, that's kind of funny. Petite style with dial, push button style, slimline, AM transistor radio and broadcast kit. Junior walkie talkie, electric build it kit. The Sears 34 in one set includes a flashing bike light plus over 100 parts that make electrical and mechanical toys that really work. My gosh, were kids just smarter back then? I don't understand. Transistorized telephone amplifier kit lets everyone in the room talk or listen. It was like speakerphone, in other words. And here we got some walkie talkies or actually transistor radios. Trans Talk 600. I think trans means something a little different these days. Child's Trans Talk 500. Like that little cartoon there. Battery operated units on this page send and receive on Citizen Band Channel 14. No license needed. Wow. Okay. I don't understand that at all. Code button for secret messages. There's Morse code spells out kids. Toy walkie talkies look real and they need no batteries. My kids are getting some walkie talkies for Christmas. Don't tell anybody, but I like getting them those kind of those types of toys, play outside kind of toys. It's a walkie talkie. Talk with a friend up to a mile away. It's a wireless code sender for secret messages. It's an AM radio. Listen to your favorite local programs. It's a CB shortwave receiver. Pick up ships at sea. It's Sears exclusive communication center. Four different radio units in one. And it just looks really awesome if you ask me. Junior base station tunes in all 23 CB stations. Optional accessories to overseas shortwave radio with Band 5 coil set that tunes in Voice of America, other shortwave bands available as optional accessories. Overseas shortwave all band. Now, I just do not know how this works. I know nothing about it. This is probably like a lost uh, technology now. I don't know. Do people even do like CB radios anymore? I, I just, I have no idea. Oh my gosh, look at all these little things on this page. Mini price toys, only 77 cents to $1.99. All right, well, what have we got here? Giant clown flashlight, uh, spudsy, <laughs> toss the hot potato, Mr. Potato Head, 
And there it is. He and his friends come alive when you add noses, ears, mouths, and accessories. See, it was just the pieces back then. You had your own, you used your own fruits and vegetables. Bring your own potato. Beginner's cutaway mod looking six string guitar. Musical teddy bear. Crazy mirror. Oh, it's like a funhouse mirror. All right, got it. Oh, Slinky. Watch Slinky walk downstairs. What was, how did that theme song go? Like, some, everyone knows it's Slinky. Something like that. I forget. Binoculars. Peanuts drum. Watercolor set. 54 colors. Brush metal box. Musical playmate. Pull the string. Hear a delightful song. Eight non-spill planets. What the heck is a planet? Planet. Non-toxic poster paints. Oh, and it was called planets. All right. Dump truck that really works. Eight bantam puzzles. Oh, there's another another one of those punch it deals. Try to knock over Popo the pop up puncho. <laughs> okay. All right, Popo. Performing birds, pull string, and super bird walks on walls, ceiling, gravity defying feet. How did that work? I don't understand. Oh no. Well, there's Pokey again. Bozo, Pokey, and Gumby. I just moved past that quickly. Electric shaver. Buzz. Sounds like a real shaver. <laughs> okay. Rumble, tumble, race game. Lift starting gate and four racers fight for the lead around hairpin curves. Musical puppy, metal tea set, and what in God's name, scary, what is that? Squeeze his tummy and his head lights up. Oh, okay, so those lines are just supposed to indicate lights, but instead it looks like a little doll with needles coming out of his face. Um, I think maybe the graphic designer went a little overboard on that one. Loony light. Yikes, that really freaked me out. I might have some nightmares about that one. Little Miss Maud, bracelet, earrings, and watch. Oh, look at Little Miss Maud. Isn't she just everything? How adorable. Doctor and nurse sets, over 35 pieces in each set includes candy pills. <laughs> I can't get over that these things, so many of these things had pretend pills. Oh my God. Candy pills, play stethoscope, plastic bag, three piece dresser set, fist faces, make silly funny faces using your fist for the head, decorate with hair, eyes, big nose, kerchief, lip color. What? So it's like one of these faces. We used to just draw it on, but they had little, look at the hair. That reminds me of someone who I won't name. Secret heart safe with cosmetics. Zoom lawnmower. Sounds like a real lawnmower. Just push it. My kids have a bubble lawnmower that's very similar to that. Blows bubbles. Oh, magic eight ball. Predict the future. Magic eight ball. Ask a question. Turn ball over. Read answer in window. Those are fun. Remote control police car. Dome light siren. Jungle book tote bag. Matchbox collector's mini case. Tootsie toy car fleet. Put a penny in this bank, get a charm or a gumball. That's fun. You can buy refills too. 30 piece farm set. All this stuff was very, very cheap. This was the cheap page. Oh, all right. Now we're getting into a little bit more sophistication, I suppose. Create a home study center with this steel desk, chair, and 28 key child's typewriter. I like the little drawer for the typewriters that came out on the side there. Easy read typewriter with carry case and stationery. Dial typewriter really works and it's only $3.89. Okay. Electric drawing set. Easy to trace characters, position copy material over illuminated 10 by 14 inch plastic drawing desk. So it was a light box basically is what that comes down to. A spirograph, there it is. That's, that's what I had. That is exactly what I had. They did not really change that at all from 1968 to about 1988 when I had one. And it was tricky. It was tricky for, you know, five-year-old me, I remember. It would kind of like slide off the page and you'd have this big like line going across. Took a little coordination to get that going really perfectly. Trace pictures, objects, and even friends with Draw-O-Matic. Let's any youngster draw. All he does is trace what he sees. Just put copy material or a friend in front of the viewer. Oh, I see. I see. And it projects down. Got it. Wow, that's pretty neat. I like that a lot. How cute. Adult machine features scaled to junior size fingers. Okay, so it's a regular typewriter, but it's just got mini everything for 
tiny little hands. That's funny. There's another desk, little executive's office. Oh my. Oh, there's the extra ribbon for the typewriter. And we are already on the last page for this episode. Oh, wow. Well, we're going to end it on a high note here with secretly, who do you want to be? We've got some play dress up costumes. Superman, number two, astronaut helmet, three, astronaut uniform. Why is there, is that just like a little cadet hat? That's funny. Four, army fatigues, five, drum majorette, six, highway trooper, seven, special forces uniform. Oh my goodness. It's to prepare yourself for Vietnam, I suppose. That's kind of horrible. Eight, fairy princess with magic light up wand nine here comes the bride 10 beautiful ballerina i mean i guess would these be halloween costumes or i mean they wouldn't be selling them at this time of year would they but i guess they're just dress up 11 of course is batman oh look at what it says too zonk crack zowie it's batman to the rescue oh gosh i love the old adam west batman i watched that on reruns when i was a kid and even then i just absolutely loved it 12 visiting nurse <laughs> not just a regular nurse a visiting nurse with her little cape and everything 13 spider-man 14 stewardess um i'm sorry we call those flight attendants today let's get politically correct <laughs> And over here we have the deluxe nurse and doctor kits. Take blue pills on rainy days, orange ones on sunny days. Prescribe eight different candy pills in all, but first listen through the real heartbeat stethoscope. All those different kinds of pretend pills. Oh my God. Was everyone just on Valium back then or something? Is that what, is that what was going on? Compact doctor and nurse kits for all types of emergency calls. And again, it's just loaded with pills. Would they give it to the dog? Was the dog eating those poor pretend pills? Order extra pills above. So the pills were really like the cool part about this. Like, don't forget the pills. Buy extra pills. I mean, they had to have been candy, right? I hope. I really hope. All right, everyone. That's it for today. That was the second to last installment here. We're going to wrap it up next week. We're going to be finished. And I did want to say again, thank you so much to anyone who was joining me in the chat. And I apologize that I was not here last week. But as you all know, my grandma did recently pass away. And I have been getting so many nice messages and words of condolences from all of you. And I just want to say thank you again. It's been hard to individually thank each person. But I, I just want you to know that it really means a lot to me. It's a really hard time for my family. But how Having all of your support has really, really felt good. And I just, I can't express to you enough how thankful I am. So thank you, thank you, thank you again. And I hope everyone is doing well and I will see you next week. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.